Hi friends, you know, as a church community, our goal is always spiritual. Our growth goal, well, we've been working uh, into good spiritual habits and rhythms around, our growth goal is I can recognize God's voice because we believe that God is our loving Heavenly Father and that He wants to speak to us, to guide us, to convict us for sin, to help us. God is our loving Heavenly Father and He wants to speak to us. So we've been coming at this from a lot of different angles, you know, encouraging, reminding ourselves. Um, number one, we can recognize God's voice because God's voice is loving. God's voice is clear and a, a, a deep love, not the, the superficial love that we get from people so often, not like our, our self, like positive talk. God's voice is love and clarity for us. And we've talked a lot recently about how God is here already. He's not far off. We don't need to beg him to come. We just need to be to open our hearts and our minds, to become aware of his presence, to believe that he's here. Not, no begging, just being and believing. And God speaks to us in so many different ways through scripture, not number one, through other believers in times of, of prayer, we'll just get into good prayer and then we'll, we'll realize some, some new thoughts, some new ideas are, are coming up in, in prayer through nature in our hopes, in our, our dreams, in, in our sanctified imagination, in journaling. God can speak to us in so many different ways, but God does speak to those who listen and who obey. And I think so often we don't hear God because we're not listening. We want to make time and space in our lives, 15, 20 minutes to be still and be calm and just listen for the voice of God. There's nothing more important, more helpful in our lives than listening to the voice of God. And then we listen and we obey. Our verse for this growth goal is John 10, where Jesus says, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. They obey me. Uh, God speaks to those who will respond with obedience as um, the little boy Samuel in the middle of the night, he heard something that was different, that was strange. And Samuel said, huh, what is that? What's going on? And then when he realized that it was something spiritual, he said, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. He paid attention. He noticed. And then he said, I'm your servant. I, I'm one who obeys. You're the boss. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. And hey, if you have a story about hearing God, if you have a, you know, an example that would really be encouraging to folks, share it. You know, um, send me an email, send Stephen an email, text, whatever. We want to be doing this together, encouraging each other to gather. Speaking about being together, I hope to see y'all on Saturday. It's going to be a great church picnic. Have a good weekend.